Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CrNO33 plus Li2CO3. This is chromium-3 nitrate, and then we have this lithium carbonate here. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see one chromium here and two here. So let's put a two in front of the chromium-3 nitrate. Now I have two times the three nitrates. So I have six nitrates. Over here, I just have one. I'm going to put a six here. Six nitrates, but six lithiums. So let's put a three here. Two times three, six lithiums. Those are balanced. Three times the one carbonate. We have three carbonates here. That's the balanced molecular equation. Kind of a bit of work. Once we have the balanced molecular equation, we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Carbonates in general, they're insoluble unless they're bonded to a group one element like lithium, sodium, potassium. So because we have lithium carbonate, that's going to be soluble. But this chromium-3 carbonate here, that's insoluble. That means it's going to be a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a solid. So those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Note that we won't split the solid apart, only the strong electrolytes, these aqueous substances here. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And again, we didn't split the solid apart here in our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants up top, I see six nitrate ions. Also in the products, these are spectator ions. Cross them out. Six lithium ions in the reactants and again in the products, spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for CrNO33 plus Li2CO3. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for chromium-3 nitrate and lithium carbonate. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have three plus times two, that's six plus, two minus times three, that's six minus. So those all add up to zero. We have a net charge of zero. This is neutral net charge of zero. Charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CrNO33 plus Li2CO3. Thanks for watching.